Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne at First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. And I hope you're well today and, and every day. Praying for you, and I hope you're praying for me as well. We need each other during these times, don't we? Our passage kind of goes along with that. It says in, in Proverbs chapter 29, it says, The fear of man brings a snare, but whoso trusts in the Lord shall be safe. The fear of man brings a snare. I believe that that's the trouble we're having today. We're having trouble in the church. We're having trouble in maybe in the workplace because we fear other people. We fear what they say. We fear what they think. We fear being ridiculed or mocked or maybe ostracized or losing our job or losing our freedoms, uh, maybe being uh, persecuted for the things that we believe you know, it's there was a time where godly men and godly woman, women spoke up for the things of God. We defended, we defended the Word of God. We defended the, the Christian lifestyle of walking as Christ walked, living as Christ lived, for walking in the Spirit, as we're told in the, in the epistles, to, to do what God wants us to do. But now uh, what happens is, is that it's in vogue just to step back and just be tolerant. Let's be accepting. Let's do good works. Uh, let's go out and serve the community. Let's do this and let's do that. And you know what? I'm all for everybody being nice. I'm all for being everybody doing a kind gestures for other people. But that's not really what we're called to do. We, The church ministers to the church. And the church stands for the word of God in the world. You and I have to understand that we have a responsibility toward the outside to live for Christ, to speak up, for, uh, and to, to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. When we choose to fear what other men say, we fear what, what could happen, the repercussions of following Christ, that becomes a snare, becomes a trap. It's something that will enslave us. It brings fear rather than freedom, and it uh, it causes us to shrink back rather than to push forward. God has not called us to be fearful. It says, the fear of man brings a snare, but whosoever trusts in the Lord shall be safe. Listen, we serve an audience of one, as someone has rightfully said. We have God and God alone to, uh, to please. And if we trust in him, we will be safe. And, uh, but as long as we fear man, we will never be safe. Listen, the world is never going to applaud a hypocrite in the first place. Those who say they believe in Christ but live like the world, those who say they believe in Christ but accept the ways of the world, will, are always deemed as hypocrites in, uh, by society, and they are. And, uh, but the, and they will never garner uh, respect from the world. Listen, people respect those who who actually live what we believe. And if you want to garner respect, you stand out and live what Christ uh, live live what you say you believe. Live live for Christ where you are. That's what this world needs. You know, it's like raising your kids. And so many of the uh, parents want to be buddies. They want to be a friend to their kids. They want to um, to try to fit in with them. And that's not what God has called you to do, to, to be a buddy to them. He's called you to be a parent and uh, to demand respect because of your role, God-given role in that family. Well, the same is true in society. Uh, God has not called us to be one of of, of, of everybody else to be like them. As a matter of fact, the Bible calls us ambassadors, calls us uh, sojourners, calls us peculiar people. We stand out. We're not part of, we're different than everybody else. We're supposed to be. The Bible says to come out from among them and be ye separate. We're supposed to be separate, to look differently, to talk differently, to act differently, to be different. Because we've been redeemed, we've been born again. To be a Christian, the word Christian means Christ-like. And you can't be a 
Christ. You can't be Christ-like when you're like the world. And so you and I have been called to be separate. He says that when we fear man, we fear our neighbors, we fear our co-workers, we fear our, uh, maybe our family members, we fear this. And so we, it causes us to shrink back and not proclaim and not live the way we're supposed to live. He said, that's a snare. You're going to get caught. You're going to get hurt. You're going to be, uh, you know, you're going to uh, imprisoned, so to speak, by your fear. Your fear um, imprisons you. In Christ, you are saved. You are free in Christ. Amen. Let me encourage you. Speak up. Let the chips fall where they may. We're kind. We're nice. We, we're not. You know, I'm, I've got now the, the stage as a young man of, of trying to argue people and trying to always be, uh, you know, to uh, always one up somebody in in a debate and in a in a, a de an apologetics type of thing. And you know, what I've just I've just made it a point where I'm going to speak what I speak. I'm going to do it in a kind fashion, and uh, I don't have to win um, the argument. I don't have to win the battle. I say what I need to say, and I go on. And I think that's true for all of us. Amen? Amen. Remember that God loves you, and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you.